everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video for you guys. It's a different kind of unboxing and review today. As this video is sponsored, yes I have a sponsor, by Elegoo, the 3D printer company. I am very picky with my sponsors, in fact I don't tend to have many. I keep getting requests in my inbox pretty much every day. If I really wanted, I could have pretty much every video sponsored, but I'm not really that kind of person. I like to be more honest with my viewers and actually promote things that I think are worth it. And when I saw an email from Elegoo asking for a collaboration or partnership, well, how could I really say no to that? I use my Elegoo Mars 2 3D printer religiously. I've had it for a few years and I've loved it. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show everyone how good these products actually are. So we struck up a deal and they sent me an Elegoo Saturn 4 Ultra. So what you can expect in this video is an unboxing and review, quick setup and demonstration on how the product works. So as soon as it arrived, I was happy to start recording. But then the following week, I received another parcel from Elegoo. They surprised me with an Elegoo Wash and Cure machine and a Mars Mate air purifier machine too. So I didn't waste any time and unboxed everything straight away. They even included a little bottle of resin too. So first things first, I started opening this box right here. And I'm really surprised at how well everything is packaged. It all feels very safe and secure. And once we've opened the box, we're greeted by a few accessories, including the power cable. And then the Mars Mate air purifier is just sitting below. Time to open the next box. Now this next box contains the wash and cure machine. We're greeted by the user manual, which is great, the mains or the power cable, and the product itself sitting in there. All you have to do is just take it out of the box and remove all the packaging. Now I think you can all guess what this third box contains. It is the 3D printer itself. It's the biggest and the heaviest. On the right, there's a little box with the mains. If you just give us a minute, we'll take it all out of the box. It's quite heavy. There's a user manual, a box with tools and stuff, and a resin drip tray too. Once everything is out of this protective packaging, I made sure to prepare our workbenches properly in a well-ventilated area away from natural light. First things first, I connected the air purifier to the printer, which has this little space right here that we have to unscrew and open up to be able to insert and screw on the tube attachment and the tube itself. This part was probably the most fiddly and the screws and nuts are quite small, but after that, everything was pretty much a breeze. Oh, and don't forget to connect the Wi-Fi antenna right there. Setting up a resin 3D printer has never been this easy. Once it's plugged into your power supply, all you have to do is just turn it on, select the language, connect it to your Wi-Fi. It will do some automatic checks and then you just wait for everything to update. And while we wait, we can peel off the protective plastic. Position the build plate. Remove the protective cap from the camera. Remove the resin tank so we can access the screen and remove this sheet of protective plastic. It's very important you do so. Oh, and don't forget to remove this sheet of protective plastic from the bottom of the resin tank too. I have an already open Elegoo ABS-like beige standard resin, so I poured it into the tank. Next, you have to install two programs onto your computer. You can either access them from the USB stick included or download them from the website linked in the description. Let's start by opening up Cheetubox, which is our slicing software. From there, we can select our resin printer. There's Elegoo Saturn 4 Ultra right there, so we'll select it and click on Next. Here are all of our printer settings. I like to select the resin color and match it to the ABS-like resin that we poured into the tank earlier and give it the correct name. This will save it as a profile or preset and there's plenty of different resins out there for you to try. And once you set it all up, you can then choose which preset or profile to use. Once we're happy, we can click on apply. Now we just need a 3D model to print. I have sculpted this highly detailed Jurassic Park 3 inspired Raptor bust on Nomad Sculpt on my iPad. And I think this is a great candidate for testing out the printer. It's got enough detail packed in there to really test out what the 12K resolution screen is really capable of. So I'll drag it into the program. 
TutorBox has some nifty features. It's smart enough to detect whether the model is too big for the build plate. It prompts you with a question asking if we want to scale down the model. Indeed we do, but we also want to rotate it and scale it a little differently too. Thankfully, there's some really cool tools right here on the left of the screen. We can rotate the model along three different axes. You can input the value yourself, or you can click onto these 45 degree rotation buttons. You can also select the axis manually and drag the model. I think the model is a little small, so let's scale it up a little bit. You can input the values here, size it up or down in small increments, or even input a percentage. I think I'm quite happy now with the size and rotation. But this will be printed as one huge solid piece of resin, which can be quite heavy and expensive. Thankfully, there's a hollow tool right there which allows us to hollow down the model to make it a little lighter and less expensive. We get a really neat animation showing us the hollowing out process. We also get a really handy little slider on the right that skims through all the layers of the print. Cheetobox can also detect inner cavities that might cause problems. Now that the model is hollow, we need the resin that would be trapped inside to escape somewhere, so we need to add a hole. There's a dig hole function at the top as well. And once selected, we can choose the diameter of the hole and the position on the model. The best place to put it is at the base of the neck. And sliding through the layers, you can definitely see the hole down there. The model is kind of floating in the air right now. We need to add some supports. By clicking on the supports button right there, it'll prepare the model for adding supports. We can choose different types, light, middle or heavy. The middle ones work best in my opinion. Instead of adding supports manually, there's an auto support button right there, which is great. By clicking on it, it'll automatically add supports where it needs them. You can also add or remove supports to your liking. But if we tilt the model, we can see that all the dark red areas are where the supports need to be. So that's pretty much it. All we have to do is just slice it and send it to the printer. So let's click on slice and wait for it to do its thing. And now we're ready to send it to the printer. Just click on network sending and it will open up Cheetobox Manager, the other program. It will prompt us to add a printer. So all we have to do is just add a printer. It will scan through the local network to see if there's a printer available. Once it pops up, just follow the instructions and there you go. You're all set. Just select your printer and send the file. Once it's sent, all you have to do now is just press print. The printer will start doing its thing, do a couple of beeps and it'll start printing. And just like magic, you'll see your model appear from nothing. Obviously, it's not instant, it does take a few hours, but in the meantime, the camera will capture everything. It's designed to record only at specific layers, and only when the build plate is up. That way, it only records what you need to see, and quite efficiently too. After 7 hours and 14 minutes, the model has been printed. All we have to do is just remove the build plate, and with the tools included in the toolbox, we can remove the model from the build plate. How does one remove the supports? Well, it's quite simple, actually. All I had to do was just pull at them, and they come off like Velcro. And look at that. It's all really sticky, though, still, so we'll have to put it in the wash and cure machine. Remove the UV protective cover, open up the tub, remove the basket, and fill the tub up with isopropyl or IPA alcohol. I put in about four liters. Remove these clips right here. And let's insert our model into the tub, making sure all the alcohol goes inside of the model too. Cover the tub up again, select the wash function on the machine, and add as much time as you feel is needed. Once you're happy, press play. Once the time is up, just open up the tub, remove the model, and let it dry completely. Remove the tub and replace it with the turntable. Make sure you remove all the protective plastic and film from the machine, especially from the little mirrors on the bottom. Place your model on top of the turntable and then cover everything up with the UV cover. Select the cure mode and then add as much time as you think is needed. To make sure everything's cured properly, I turned my model upside down and cured it again just to be sure.
And once that's done, we can remove it from our wash and cure machine and admire our model in all of its glory. And my goodness, look at the print quality on this thing. I thought my Mars 2 was good, but this just takes it on a completely different level. You can see all the little bumps on the scales of this Model 2. This is absolutely crazy. I can't wait to paint this model up. In fact, I'm going to do a whole separate video just showing you how I painted this model. I decided to do another test print, this time printing something absolutely tiny, but still packed with detail, just to see how well the printer would capture all the detail. And my goodness, it did not disappoint. Look at how small this raptor head is, and look at all that detail it was able to print. It's absolutely mind-blowing. I added a little wash so you could tell where all the detail is, and wow, the quality of this printer is just astounding. 3D printers are notoriously difficult to set up, but my goodness, this one was just a breeze. It's never been this easy to get one ready to go. It's literally just plug and print. If you want to get yourself this printer, well, I obviously highly recommend it. You can see for yourself the print quality on this thing is just incredible. You can find it on their website, even on Amazon too. And they've always got some really good deals going on. So do yourself a favor, maybe for your birthday or a special holiday, get yourself one of these. You will not regret it. Or maybe even as a gift for a special someone. I would like to give a huge thank you to Eligu for sending this over, as well as all the extras. And I would like to thank you, the viewer, for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget I'll be painting that raptor head at some point. Thank you so very much for watching, and stay safe.